welcome to Fitu Thai Kitchen. Today we're going to make suki yaki sauce. And the ingredient is quite many and a little bit complicated the way how we do right and also after we make the sauce we can have with the grass noodle and some vegetable and the sauce can keep in the fridge for a few months anytime you want to eat you can just take it out from the, the fridge okay the uh, all the uh, just show you the all the ingredient okay start from the back sesame oil chili sauce white vinegar red bean curd uh, preserved garlic sugar light soy sauce fresh garlic fresh chili small chili uh, what you call uh, thai bird, uh, thai bird yeah. chili thai bird uh, coriander root and sesame seeds roast this one and leave it first okay we roast sesame seeds first with the low gas <coughs> Only a few minutes. The sesame easy to roast. You look just for summer. A little summer. Yeah. That's why I do uh, uh, suki yaki good for summer. <laughs> okay now you can see the color yeah, the, the color is golden color and just leave it and then become more brown I feel like I got Madonna in the restaurant today. Yes. <laughs> this one we crushed a bit. Yeah, we, and we put, after we, the sauce finished, we put last. Okay, the next step, we're going to make uh, the sauce. We grind all these ingredients in uh, this one okay i start from okay red bean curd we use uh, two teaspoon of uh, red bean curd a little bit of juice from here and uh, pickle garlic we use the, the three ball of pickle garlic we take the skin out and put the, the water from there also and uh, light soy salt put three tablespoons of light soy salt but we can adjust later two tablespoons of sugar uh, garlic, ten cloves of garlic and uh, ten pieces of uh, small red chili uh, coriander root, we don't need to push the oil, we push only half. Three tablespoons of white vinegar. Uh, chili sauce. Another three tablespoons of chili sauce. This one, another one more because the really sticky. And then we put the water, just a small bowl of water. Uh, 
okay and grind it okay that's it so you're gonna boil it in there. Mm. I don't know. I thought that no, you can you can have sauce. You just you, you can have it fresh, but you cannot keep. Oh, not not enough. Not fine enough. I have to to grind a little bit more. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's okay. You put the water in here to clean it. Mm. And you add to it before. Yeah. Yeah, we boil and we need to stir. <clears throat> okay, we leave it boil for a few minutes. <clears throat> and then now we taste how the taste like. Mm. We add the, uh, another spoon of light soy sauce. <clears throat> and one spoon of uh, lemon juice quite hot <laughs> not salty enough I put I add more <clears throat> More light soy sauce. Mm, quite hot. Okay, let me crush the sesame seeds. Can get the nice taste, nicer smell. Hot, mm. mm, Okay. I put two tablespoon. No need to put all. That's it, how the sauce look like. You can be dressing with coriander. And the last is the sesame oil. You put one, yeah, spoon. Okay, on top, yeah, that's it. And then we sliced uh, small red chili and garlic. When we eat the noodle, we can add this one. If you need hotter or you need more tasty, you add this one, okay? Yeah, this is how the sukiyaki sauce look like. This one for uh, only two or three portion. If you want uh, to make more and keep in the fridge, you can adjust the, <coughs> the amount.